everybody. Welcome to another of the informal interviews we're doing with the TADAC Global sponsors to get to know the people behind the brand. So I'm really happy to introduce Thomas How We've known each other for many years now. Thomas, please introduce yourself. Uh, hi, Alan. My name is Thomas. You've known each other, you've known each other for years. Um, I'm a communications developer, and that's all I've done my whole life. And, like, and I mean my whole life. My father used to work in it department when that's I was growing right. up. That's right, right exactly. Yeah. So what I'd like you to cover is really just, you know, why you got into tech, some yeah. new, some personal stuff so people can get to know you a little bit, then talk about VCon and what you hope to see on the hacks about VCon, okay? Yeah, for sure, yeah. So, so really simply, I got into tech because my father was in tech. He was a guy who opened up a Raytheon plant um, in the mm. mid 50s and on an island off of Rhode Island. And uh, I grew up there on a small island full of geeks. Um, and uh, we would meet his friends at picnics and, you know, and I just kind of fell into it when I got to high school. And, uh, and it's been the best life. I, I really enjoyed um, uh, seeing how much has changed. I got in in 1980. Um, and as we, our first intersection was the DSL market. And so, you know, I think about, about the sounds about coding without the internet, without Stack Overflow. Those, those were the days. That's true, that's true. Oh, that's so yeah. funny. Yeah. And then, you know, just to help people, you know, I because that's great in terms of, you know, it's hereditary. You know, I mean, of course, yeah. you know, the Howe clan have a lot of history in their hereditary, but we won't go there maybe. <laughs> so maybe a little bit around sort of your know, hobbies, pastimes, things you like to get up to in your spare time when you're not doing tech. Yeah, so I like to cook. Um, I, when I got married 20 years ago, my wife told me that she wasn't going to cook. Um, and so I learned how to cook. And now that I know how to cook, it's all I, all I do. But I really, I, I love it. And the pandemic was great. I got um, this really um, good uh, Cook's Illustrated bread baking book. Uh -huh. I made all 75 recipes three times, including the croissants. So come over sometime if you're interested in this. Oh, absolutely nothing better than fresh croissants. So yeah, I, I do the same, although there wasn't an explicit agreement at the uh, beginning of the marriage. It was one of those out of necessity. So I'm very much a um, grill, meat and vegetables. You know, You're a well, man cook. Salad. That's a man cook. Yeah, I, I can grill. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's quite sexist that way, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so then, interested to understand, you know, why you're now focusing on uh, VCon? Yeah, um, so there's there's a couple of reasons for it, but the original idea came from a project I was working on last year where I had this device that was flying around the network and I realized I couldn't get the data from it. It was a mm -hmm. phone, it was flying around. Yeah. And so I realized there was no standard for getting data out of a, a phone into something else. Yeah. Uh, that was a clue. Um, and then, um, you know, the whole point behind the work I've been doing recently has been in the data side of telephony. So, you know, building systems that um, are collecting data on purpose. Yeah. Um, and, but I had no way of, 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 of uh, leveraging it. So the VCon is basically, you know, it's, uh, it's a way for us to create conversations, to share them, to make tools that work on them, yeah. to, to use them as if they were a piece of data. So that, that's really my interest in the VCon. Great. Yeah, so it really was from a practical need. And oh, yeah, from yeah. that then, you've basically doing something that's going to influence the whole of the industry. Yeah, yeah. And I, every time we come to another day, actually, we're implementing them in my work and we're building a server that, that, that contains them. And every day we find a new reason that, hey, this is a really good idea. In fact, today's reason is um, we've got two different communication systems. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We have one communication system, but we own the soft client. So we're using VCons yeah. from both sides to make sure they match. Interesting. Oh, oh yeah. You missed the call. Yep. Mr. Provider, because I get the VCon, you don't. Exactly. And this is so much more than just telephony. I mean, conversations are everywhere, whether you're Meta, Google, so many web companies, there's conversations taking place between applications and people, between people on those uh, uh, web services. So VCon is really very broadly applicable across the whole of the internet. You know, we, I think it'd be a good idea for companies to listen to their customers. And at, at our company, we have 70,000 conversations a day and a, a month and one person who listens to them. Yeah. Yeah. So the VCon allows you to have a chance to listen to the, your customers 
by a lot. Exactly, exactly. Now, with TATAC this year, what are some of the hacks or maybe some guidance you can provide to the hackers yeah. when they're building stuff on VCOM? Yeah, so there's two. There's a couple of things which I think would be really interesting, um, and and so the VCon, as I said, is a data object, and it's you know it's a, a it's a way of sharing them. I one thing I think would be really interesting would be to take a group of VCons and go, okay, what do they have in common? Or every time a VCon happens that has a particular word in it, spit it someplace different. You know, like a, like a swear word dictionary, and every time someone swears, you can send it to the Irish guy. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, or, yeah. but that's, that's 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 one thing. But the other other thing we could do is um, inside the VCon, you can transform the data. So it'd also be interesting to take a VCon and then use that one VCon to analyze it. Uh -huh. So um, one of the ones that we're doing internally, which I which might be a great hack, is we're we're taking the average power of all the conversations and we're looking to see when it drops, because we have a lot of Asians whose headphones get disconnected. Yeah. And you can just tell because they're much quieter. Why yes. are you quiet? And so we're using the VCons to measure the audio level of our, of our agents. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, because I was actually yesterday dealing exactly with that problem that uh, one of the people on the call was hands free. Uh, so their audio level was lower. So, of course, I'm using sort of iMovie to bump all that up. You know, but of course, you're bumping everybody up. So it's like some people are coming in sort of clips. Yeah. yeah. So that's really yeah, that that that, uh, that uh, detection of signals and noise class I took in graduate school is now going to be useful for something where I can say, wait a second, you've got you got a fan running in your back, Mister Asian yep. person. Absolutely interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to because again, it's one of those uh, technologies crosses across communications and the web. So I'm really looking forward to what we're going to see from uh, TATAC Global. Yeah, yeah. I'm very, it's, it's a pleasure. It's nice to do really new things. That's great. Excellent. Thank you so much, Thomas. You're welcome.